Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janice, and today I'm going to be talking about balance. How to create balance in a room. Have you ever walked into a space or saw a space online that you absolutely loved, but you can't really pinpoint exactly what it is about that room that you like? That is because that room is perfectly balanced. That means all of the room, all of the pieces in that room, are perfectly selected to work nicely and harmoniously together to create a positive and visual appeal. When I think of balance, I think of ingredients. It's like making a dish, right? You have all of these different ingredients that you're throwing into this dish, and you don't ultimately taste every single individual ingredient, right? You're tasting the final flavor at the very end, and that's what we're doing with all of these different ingredients. We're creating a perfectly balanced room, a perfect balance of scale and proportion, of color and texture, of intrigue, of negative space. All of this works together beautifully and harmoniously to create a beautiful room. So let's break them out and dig a little bit deeper into each one. So number one, scale and proportion. Scale and proportion is the perfect balance between the room itself in both width and height with the furniture and decor pieces that you're putting into the room. So you want to take that into consideration, especially when you're looking at purchasing new furniture. This is going to be crucial in helping you decide the correct size furniture to purchase. For example, if you have a large space that you're furnishing, you want to look for furniture that is larger in scale to properly fill that room. If you have a larger room, you might consider doing multiple conversational areas or doing two different zones. Maybe one is for eating and one is for you know family time, but doing breaking up the space into multiple um, zones when you have a larger space really makes the area feel more intimate and inviting and less intimidating. If you have a smaller room that you're looking to furnish, this doesn't mean that you're looking for furniture that is small. You still want to make sure that you're looking for a properly sized furniture that fit the space, but ultimately you're looking for furniture that is going to function for what that room is meant to be. This might mean that there are small, uh, that there are less pieces in the room, but ultimately you're looking for balance and a room that is functional for what you need it to be. Negative space. Negative space is great to keep in mind when you're designing a room. This is the space that isn't used and this is great at keeping you from overcrowding a room or from under furnishing. It really allows your eyes to rest and create a sense of comfort in the space. Space flow. Each room has its unique space flow this goes hand in hand with the furniture layout, but ultimately this is the space in which one uses to get through the space or to get from point A to point B. This is very um, crucial to keep in mind when you're looking at furniture layout. You want to make sure that you have enough clearances for people to walk through to enter or exit a room. So you really want to make sure that you're paying attention to clearances and furniture scale. Color and texture. Having the right amount of color and texture in a room is what adds that warmth and inviting feeling. Even if you have the properly skilled furniture um, and properly placed, without any color or texture, the room is still going to feel unfinished, a little sterile and uninviting, and you want to make sure adding color through prints, textiles, um, rugs, art, all of that will work together nicely to create that personality and character to a room. Intrigue. Intrigue is my favorite. It's what adds that uniqueness to a room. You want to make sure that you're looking for pieces that are a little different, maybe a little more unique and harder to find, um, a little more special to you or your family. These are pieces that maybe they're family heirlooms, they're antiques, unique art pieces, or unique furniture. All of this works really nicely to add that next level of um, interest to a room and really creates conversation around each piece. And I think that is what really ultimately is like the cherry on top of a well-designed room. So now you have the key ingredients to creating balance in a space. Give it a try for yourself in your home and let me know what you think. All it takes is some planning and preparation, and before you know it, you'll have a beautifully designed room. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new or found this helpful, and until next time.